Hi, and thanks for following today's Buy Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2. In yesterday's video, I gave you some tips and tricks with a setup guide as to how to get your graphics optimized so you don't get any stutter or lagging when you set this up for the very first time. By the way, a big thank you for joining VR Essentials. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time to the platform, very nice to meet you. And a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you with us. In the previous videos, we also went up how to set up the audio and the microphone as well as fix any black screen issues that you may have if you can't see anything inside of your VR headset. But in today's video it's a little bit more advanced so let's just assume that you are more used to your HP Reverb G2 experience. Let me give you a step-by-step -step guide as to how I optimized my graphical settings with some actual tests to show you in this video. So let's go! So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your task manager by hitting the control alt and delete key and then select task manager and then just end the service of any items that you are familiar with especially mixed reality and any steam applications and then just scroll down the list to make sure that there are no steam applications running now go back to mixed reality and then scroll all the way down to the left hand side where you see the three little round dots there and then select on settings and you'll see that a window will come up and then just simply choose display. And then now go to visual display and also the display resolution. And then make sure that you put both to high. So let's really crank things up this time and see what happens. All right, let's do a side by side comparison. You can tell the differences between before when you had set it up to automatic. And then now when you actually chose the high settings, the graphics inside of the mixed reality software, as you can tell, are much sharper, much nicer and just overall a much better experience. You can notice the leaves on the trees, how crisper and sharper they are. And then also the waves and the water, the walls, there's a lot less anti-aliasing going on there. Okay, now let's actually bump up the settings inside of Steam VR and really show you how you can really dramatically improve your VR experience without having too much stutter and lagging of any kind either. So next what we're going to do is we're going to close up Mixed Reality again by going to the Task Manager and ending the service. So for the purpose of this test I'll be using the RTX NVIDIA 2070 with the i7-9700K as well as a Hero Maximus 11 motherboard. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to open will be your Steam and then go to the top left hand side as well and open where you see Steam VR, click on that and then let the pop-up open naturally. You'll notice that your Mixed Reality software will automatically open up as well. Now just wait for the pop-up of SteamVR to come up. And then once it's up, click on the three little bars hamburger icon and choose settings. Now let's pay attention to the Generals tab. For the purpose of this video, let's assume that you're used to SteamVR already or that you've watched the previous video where I explained the various different tabs. Now we had explained in the previous video that when you launch SteamVR for the first time, the display resolution is set to 100%, which is higher than the resolution per eye inside of the VR headset or per screen if you wish because the resolution per eye inside of the HP Reverb G2 is 2160 by 2160 and not higher than that. But the way that SteamVR calculates the resolution itself is by... Which is why it's set to a higher resolution. So if you were to bump this down to, for example 46 to 50 percent which is the correct resolution per eye you will of course undoubtedly notice some degradation in terms of the display and the graphic settings itself which may render an uncomfortable of course VR experience when you're playing a VR game. However it is recommended to bump down the settings for your first time VR experience down to the correct display per eye which is around 50% to make sure that when you launch it for the very first time you don't get any stutter or lagging of any kind. But as the title suggests today we're here to bump up those settings so let's go through this process right away. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a couple of apps as examples which are very very different and probably at the opposite end of the spectrum when we compare them. Now the settings inside of ACC will vary differently according to various different hardware and components that you have inside of your computer. So for today's purpose of the video I'm not going to change anything inside of my ACC game itself 
Everything is set up pretty much to high, as you can tell here by the video. I'm purely going to change the settings inside of SteamVR itself. So let's start off first with the basic settings, which I had explained in the previous Bite Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2, where we keep everything pretty much to 50% in the General tab. And then if you go to the Videos tab and click on the Per App application, then go and choose the app that you're going to be using, but in my case, of course, it's ACC. And I'm also going to make sure that the settings there are also set to the same resolution as what we had done in the Generals tab. And then what you do is just basically close everything, go back to your Task Manager, and then make sure that you end the service once again of all the applications running at the moment. Okay, so once you're done with that, reopen Steam to begin with, and then of course, open Steam VR once more. Mixed Reality, of course, is going to open up automatically. And then go to your Steam library and then choose the app. In my case, it's ACC to open. Now, as you can tell, everything is more or less doing okay. There's no stutter or lagging of any kind. And then when I'm actually inside of the gameplay itself, the car is running pretty smoothly. Everything is happening pretty nicely. I'm not having any issues of any kind whatsoever. In fact, my VR experience is pretty comfortable at this moment. I probably would not need necessarily to bump everything up, but of course I could experiment and do that. Now, if you want to bump up the settings, what you need to do first again is go back to the task manager and the service of all your various different programs and then reopen again Steam, then Steam VR, and then Mixed Reality again will open up automatically. Now, in the Generals tab, let's just leave things as they are for the moment. Let's go back to the Video tab at the Per Application Settings, click on that again, and then you'll see the little bar there. Now, let's bump it up to 200% and see what happens. So, for the effects to take place, what you're going to have to do, unfortunately, is close everything down. So, go back to your task manager and the service of all the various different programs, then open Steam up again, then Steam VR, and then let Mixed Reality software to open up on its own. Now, once everything's open again, I go back to my Steam, my library, I choose ACC, and of course, I let it load. Now, just to make sure that the new settings have registered inside of Steam VR, what you could do before launching the app is go back to the Steam VR settings, per application settings, and then just make sure that the bar is set to the resolution which you had chosen before closing everything. So as you can tell, I bumped it up to 200%. Everything's good, everything's there. Now, this is what happens when I launch ACC. Now, as you can tell, nothing is working properly. Everything is stuttering and lagging completely. When I move my head up and down or left and right, it's just a complete nightmare. And I can tell you now, if this was the first time I was going to launch my HP Reverb G2 and this was what's going to be happening, I would be a very, very unhappy bunny. So for ACC, as you can tell, it's best to bring everything back down to 50 and then incrementally as you go along, perhaps bump it up maybe to 60, 100, and just see where it is that you are going to be happy in terms of the graphics. But I highly suggest if I were you to first bump it to 50, bump up all your settings inside of ACC in-game play as you possibly can, and then go back to Steam VR and make your changes there. Now let's look at another VR application which is totally on the other end of the spectrum and really doesn't require that much graphical power whatsoever. And of course, I'm talking about Old Space VR. So the first thing that you're going to have to do before you can make any changes is go to your task manager and close up all the Steam and Steam VR and Mixed Reality software again, and then reopen Steam and then Steam VR once more. Now go back to the settings, go back to the video tab, and then choose this time per application Old Space. And also let's put everything back to the original resolution that we first started off in this video, which is around the 2160 by 2160 per eye resolution. Now for the new settings to take effect, we're gonna have to close everything up once more and then reopen, of course, your Steam, then Steam VR, and the Mixed Reality will open up automatically. And of course, you can go back to the video tab in your Steam VR settings just to make sure that all the settings have indeed registered in the app before you launch your VR application. But in my case, all is good. And as you can tell, all space is doing absolutely fine. There's no issues of any kind at the minimum settings. In fact, again, I'm very happy as to where it is. I would probably most undoubtedly have a very comfortable VR experience. And the anti-aliasing graphic settings inside of Alt Space itself are also set to the minimum. But as you can tell, as I mentioned, things seem to be pretty okay. But how does it compare if we were to bump up the settings? Okay, so once we're inside of the Steam VR video tab settings, what I'm going to do with all spaces, I'm going to bump it up 
all the way to 200%, effectively doubling the graphical power. Now, as you know, with ACC, everything was a complete nightmare, but let's see how Allspace performs. Now, once you close everything, and then of course you reopen Steam, Steam VR, and Mixed Reality, and you can go and double check, of course, that all the settings have registered inside of Steam VR. As you can tell for me with Allspace VR, there's no issues of any kind. Compared to ACC, where it's completely a nightmare and stuttering absolutely everywhere. Now with Allspace, I'm not having any of these issues whatsoever. So the question is, how far can I bump up those settings? So let's find out. Again, I'm going to close up absolutely everything and then reopen everything as per the previous setup tips. And I'm going to bump this up all the way this time to 400, which is basically double or four times what it was compared to the start of this video. All right, so I've closed everything up once more and then reopened everything again. And we're back inside of Old Space VR. Okay, so we're inside of Old Space, inside of the VR Essentials world, which I had built very quickly in Unity. So do be part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe because you'll be notified every time I do a video with potential events inviting you to this world. Now, as you can tell, I have no issues of any kind. Everything is smooth. The media players are playing without any lagging whatsoever. I'm just having a fantastic time here. Now, if I go inside of the actual old space graphics settings tab, I can actually bump up the actual anti-aliasing all the way to the maximum. And equally, I have no issues. I'm able to talk to people, walk around, it's just fantastic experience. So I hope that this video really helps you and sheds some light in terms as to why you should bump all the settings down first to 50% both in the general tab and also in the video tab, because otherwise you may get a lot of stutter and lagging. And of course, every single application is built differently. So the settings will have to be different for each application in VR. All right, so let's both meet in the next video where I'll give you some tips and tricks as to how to launch your first application in VR using the HP Reverb G2, as well as changing your boundary settings and a whole bunch of other good stuff. All right, let's go.